what started this fire. Driver who somehow survived a violent crash when his car was hit from behind and then forced into a retention pond on Chafee Road. 56-year-old Stefan Koso was in critical condition for weeks and is now talking about his recovery. Channel 4's Tim Pulliam is live tonight from where it happened. Tim? Investigators say the suspect was driving at a high rate of speed here at Chaffee Road. It was enough to force the victim's car through this grassy area into this retention pond. We're not sure how deep this pond is, but it was enough to nearly drown the victim. Stefan Kosa can't believe he survived this crash. It looked like I was, you know, hit by a semi-truck. I can't remember anything about it. The 56-year-old evangelist says all he remembers is driving home from visiting a friend and slowing down near the intersection of Chaffee Road and 103rd Street. Troopers say that's when a minivan driving behind Kosa failed to slow down and plowed into him. Uh, I just can't imagine how somebody can be hit from behind and the car be destroyed that way and me ending up in a retention pond. It just doesn't make sense. Kosa's car wound up submerged in the pond. Witnesses stopped to help, giving him CPR until emergency responders arrived. Kosa's brother, Eugene, is thankful. I cannot describe. And that is the reason I want to talk to them to thank them. Because his life was in their hands. They saved my brother. Then later at the hospital, Kosa slipped into a coma. And I wake up almost one week after that in ICU. Nearly a month later, Kosa is still feeling the effects of the accident. He doesn't drive, and he says he can barely do a single push-up. But he's not angry at the person who hit him. He's just thankful he was able to survive an accident that could have ended his life. The brain and the lung doesn't function the, the way it, it was before. So I don't know how long it's going to take me, you know, to get back there. The victim's attorney tells me that charges are pending against the suspect. Investigators want to see if this was medical related or if this was alcohol related. We are live tonight. Tim Pulliam, Channel 4, The Local Station.